Hello, and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. If you want to join my live stream, check out the uh, links in my description and in the comments. Um, stream every day except for Sunday. Join me, and also check out my other channels, and please follow me on Twitter. So let's actually get to the news. Only a short list today. Reddit actually has rolled out a, um, a community token on Ethereum. They're called Reddit Community Points, and they're only they're on a trial right now. They're only available, I think, on one or two subreddits. I believe it's one of the Fortnite subreddits and also the Reddit subreddit itself. So what these community points are is you can buy, you can use them to buy like certain uh, member upgrades and stuff, or you can just hoard them. Right now, I don't think they're on any exchange, so I don't know if you can actually sell them or not. But community users and members will actually be able to determine how much a post or how many uh, community points that like a post or a person actually gets. So it's kind of like Reddit currency. Now, I don't know if they'll ever be on an exchange to sell monetarily, but it could be something cool for Reddit. And if they ever come on an exchange, they will have some kind of monetary value based on however many cents people think like Reddit points are actually worth. They are going to be based on Ethereum. And this is like a cryptocurrency full-fledged moving on into social media. Now, this is only a trial test for right now. But if they move past that stage, I can definitely see this being pretty important for crypto, uh, if, especially if this is successful and other social media platforms like Twitter would actually adopt them internally as their own project. BlockFi is doing like a, a deposit thing. If you, It's like BlockFi.com. Uh, if you deposit $200, they'll give you like a $100 uh, BTC bonus. BlockFi, I don't think is a scam. So check that out. Um, could be some good returns on there as well. BlockFi.com. So there's that. Um, the other thing is that outside of the uh, outside of Reddit, uh, the IRS is actually hiring like a third party because its own rules are really really complicated, and they can't actually they don't have the manpower to track all the on chain stuff. So essentially, they're hi they're trying to solicit a third party to actually track on chain analytics so they can track like people's on chain movements. I have no idea how they're going to actually track all the on chain analytic movements to people's accounts. I feel like that's a little bit out of their reach, honestly. Um, so I think they're going to have to hire a lot of manpower. And also, I'm not really that scared because I'm not a whale. And plus, I don't really do anything bad on my taxes anyways. I actually like report everything. So I think they're going to be only going after whales for this data because there's no way they have enough manpower to track every $10 transaction. I think like if you're trading a lot of crypto, you really, really shouldn't try to get around the IRS. You should just pay the taxes because they are actually hiring a third party to actually tra uh, track all these on-chain transactions. The third party is also going to be there for any kind of lawsuits if the IRS actually sues you or something for money. So I think like trying to evade taxes is going to be a worse and worse idea in the United States. And it's not only the US, other countries are getting in on this as well. So I think eventually like tax evasion is not going to be a very good idea for crypto at all. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think, like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.